What's up, YouTube? We back in another reaction. Airplay Beast, Law, and Chi. And today we got Black Sabbath Superstar. Are you ready? leading into something so we got to play that next one for sure it was real real cinematic it just all in my mind all i was thinking was like a 19 late 70s early 80s horror flick mm -hmm. the chase scene at the end that's what that sounded like and um let the guitar riffs let you know that, that was, was part of it like that that made that sounded like was, something like that there was two big riffs that they could have like you said they take risks for like they could have turned that in two big songs, those yeah. two riffs. Yeah. But this, they just put them both in this song and made it an instrumental, which is probably just like a interlude leading into what whatever's next coming up here. That's the thing. The, com the confidence that they had, like, 
Like they did, they they did, like they didn't feel like we can't waste this or nothing. Nah, they they, they was gonna put if like, if they was feeling it, they was nah, gonna do with it. With a guitarist like that, you'd be like, man, I got a million of these yeah. riffs, and, and they riffs is they <laughs> I have mostly a million. similar, but they all sound different in some <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, because like, there was two of they could have made two songs in there that I heard. Nah, that was instrumental, but it never got boring. That those guitars yeah. were slamming, and then and, that and, choir and, and the engineer was crazy because that was it was blowing my eardrums to pieces. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it? Yep. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. So the next one is Am I Going Insane? So here we go.
Michael Jackson was about to come on at oh, the end. Thriller. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so they used the, so I guess that was uh, coming off of that instrumental. So they had some dope guitar riffs in there and didn't have it. They didn't have any of them riffs in the song. Not at all. Not in, no. It, it was, that was to totally. It was, it was separate. That was. I'm tripping. Totally different from what they used. Like uh, uh, we we've done them chronologically, or did we skip? And we went straight through. Straight right? through because th- crazy. This album doesn't sound like any of the other work they've done. Right. I mean, you know who you're listening to because like Ozzy. And we get some of the riffs, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's. That right there sounds like the grandfather of all the 90s rock. <laughs> like that. That sounded like they all listened to that song. That's the style and of the that's 90s. That's where they went, huh? That's way before it's time. Oh, yeah, for sure. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> that's the way even Ozzy, I don't even know if that was, it sounded like Ozzy. It sounded like yes. someone else, but it kind of sure did sound him. like someone else, but it didn't really give us that Ozzy feel. It's, but it's Ozzy. Sure, Ozzy, yeah, but it's Ozzy. That sounded like 90s. The music was a little different, a little older, but the, the way he was singing, it sounds like he birthed a whole lot of kids, <laughs> rock kids, right. with that right there. I could, I could hear that on a 90210. Hey, Bill or, Ward went crazy on that. Man, I'm just that, 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 that started a lot of stuff right it, there. The way Ozzy was singing, that, that, that sound. But it was that 90s sound. Even their regular stuff, I'm sure they birthed a lot of guitarists and drummers trying to do what they but. I just think they're the pioneers of a lot of stuff that that came out yeah. in the 90s yeah. and, and things like, like that. Like, that sounds punk rocky to, like, they're usually hardcore. Like, they was able to switch it up to that 90s. You know how 90s was a little, I don't know how, I don't know how to explain that it. but punk rock type of. Yeah. Uh, Ozzy had that sound going, man. He switched it up on us. I don't want to say Green Day because they got mad at me, but it's it's <laughs> it's over in that area, right? Is that what you're talking about? You say the wrong name, they'll cut <laughs> your head off. I'm not saying any names, but I've heard a lot of stuff that, that sounded like that in the nineties. You know how over the way, that the way he's punk singing, rock type of yeah, stuff. That's what it sounded like. It gave me not those vibes. Not necessarily vibes. Green Day, but not necessarily Green. I'm not going to say a name. <laughs> But I'm just saying, but get, over there in that ball, like I said, ballpark, they birthed a lot of people with that yeah, sound. I hear what you're saying. You know what That's saying? just from our ears. I loved it. I, I thought that, that was amazing. They're taking some risks on this one. This album sounds no, nothing like the others. They're like taking some risks, yeah, but, it, they but some other but, stuff. But it's they execute. And they're giving the sprinkles of who they are and what we know them for, which is dope. I always yeah, like exactly. I always like when artists cater to the people that that love them. You know, what I'm saying don't try to be too new. Yeah. Don't don't get away from your, the people who right. love you. You, you, know you talking about yourself? Cause yeah. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. You strictly talking about don't stray away. <laughs> no, that's what you <laughs> got to give us those riffs. You got to give us the slow BPMs. You got to <laughs> you got to give us the hard rock. Man. Right. And Ozzy go and belt. But this is out. like they're doing a lot of different stuff on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's mixed good. Remember that one album? It wasn't mixed. That one album. How we yeah, needed it to be yeah, mixed yeah, or something. Yeah. But yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and we up out of here.